Hi, and welcome to our video guide on how to migrate your Access database to the cloud without coding. In part 5, I will show you how to deploy the entire application to a website. Let's have a look. To deploy my Caspio application, I put together a website, and as you can see on this website, I have a very nice navigation menu on the left-hand side, and I'm going to be embedding each one of our data pages into each one of these web pages. These web pages are being rendered by my HTML files. Since I work directly inside HTML, I'm very familiar with how to code in HTML and CSS. However, if you don't have a knowledge of putting together a website using HTML, there are a handful of tools available that are compatible with Caspio, and they have a very easy to use and intuitive drag and drop website builder. For example, let me name a few. There's Weebly. You can use WordPress, Yola, and even Squarespace. There are many other tools out there. These are only to name a few, but if you're not technically adept to build your own website using HTML and hand coding it, there are plenty of drag and drop website builders that make it very easy for people to build a website nowadays. Now let me show you how to deploy each of the Caspio data pages into our website. Let's begin with the report that shows all the new bugs that are assigned to each one of the users. So inside Caspio, you're going to locate that data page. I called it Filter New Bugs. You're going to hit Deploy, Enable Access, and then copy the code. Go into your website builder. Find the location where you want to paste the Caspio code and simply just paste it. Save your changes and publish your website. As soon as you publish your website and refresh your page, you're going to be able to see that data page seamlessly embed. Now it still has the login screen, so I'm going to quickly log in as John. And as soon as I log in, I get to see that report that filters out all the bugs that are flagged as new and that have been assigned to John. Let's continue deploying the rest of the data pages. Here's my in-progress report. Let's deploy that. Copy the code. Paste it into your web page. Save and publish. Refresh and we should be able to see that bug that has a status of in progress. Moving on, here's my form to create or open up a new bug, so let's deploy that. Paste your code once again, save and publish, refresh, and now John has the ability via the web to go ahead and create a new bug, set the priority, do anything else in the form, and finally assign that bug to somebody else on the team. Let's continue. Here's my report to manage bugs. We're going to deploy that as well. Copy the code. Find your placeholder. Paste it. And as you can see now, hopefully you're getting the sense for how easy it is to do this in Caspio. All you're doing here is really copying and pasting that code into your website builder to seamlessly publish each one of these data pages. Refresh. And now we have the ability to search and view the results via the web. Let's continue now to add new comment form. Here's my form to add new comment, so we're going to deploy that as well. And it's all the same process. Copy, paste into your website builder, publish, refresh. And here's my form now to add new comment. I skipped ahead and already published the remaining three data pages because you already understand the process now, so I've deployed them all to these three different tabs. Here's my ability to manage comments. Then we have our pie chart that shows all the bugs by status. And we also have the line chart that actually shows all the bugs per month. And this is how easy it is to deploy the entire application on the website. Now your end users, if they're using a mobile device, maybe an iPad or an iPhone, they can log in directly via the web and gain access to all this important and business critical information. This application shows one way you can approach building your data pages and defining your workflow. There are many other ways you could display the information from your database, such as showing information about a single bug in one data page and deploying directly next to it your comment form and a list of all the comments relating to this bug. In filtering multiple reports and forms together, you will need to make use of the concept of parameters. I strongly recommend reviewing the videos and documentation on our how-to in regards to parameters so that you can better understand the mechanism to link multiple data pages together on a single web page. I would also recommend looking at workflows and data page layouts in our gallery of ready-made applications to get other ideas on how to present your data to end users. 
I really do appreciate your time. If you took the time to watch all five videos, I hope that you enjoy the video guide. And I truly hope that you'll be able to import your own access applications now or even build an application from scratch inside Caspio without importing anything from a different source. Thanks again for watching the video guide and I hope to see you in our next one.